Hello, my name is Elisa Shulman and I've actually been your Chief of Staff this past year. It's been a very unique year for everybody, particularly at the hospital. We are presenting the award for Physician of the Year in a very new way because we are unable to do this in person, but that works okay because it's a very new sort of award. Um, because we really couldn't choose one physician this year, everyone rose to the occasion. Uh, we are basically creating a new group award um, to try to include and represent all physicians with uh, those representing uh, all areas who took part in this very unique year. Um, but also, uh, we wanted to honor our most outstanding representation of these physicians. Um, they will not come as a surprise to you because you've seen them, you've heard from them, they've been in social media, and so uh, we wanted to make sure this was a good representation of our entire team. Of course, we all know the person who was looked to most of all and who probably has not had one uninterrupted uh, night of sleep since March 1st, is Dr. Manny Gordillo. He has been here since day one, um, from the time we became ground zero for the first case in Florida. Purely by coincidence, he was on call that weekend. Um, he's actually been monitoring the crisis in China since its very beginning and formulating plans and protocols for our hospital since uh, the concern started. Um, and all before we even heard the terms COVID and pandemic, he was already on top of that. He has been working tirelessly to help us triage the patients and all of the healthcare workers and all of the plans and all the recommendations. He was the one we turned to with every question, any time of day. Uh, we're again so very grateful for all he's done as our, our epidemiologist and our general beacon of information um, at the very beginning and continues to be throughout this pandemic. So we're gonna continue with the other physicians who also no less important, uh, physicians who rose to the occasion and really what most people don't realize is we met daily during the early days of this pandemic to create protocols and determine what would be the best uh, choice of action for what we have now termed as a very fluid situation, a term we'd not really used before in medicine. Things were changing daily. Of course, our chief medical officer, uh, Dr. James Fiorica, had the uh, good, good fortune to head up all of the decisions and head up all the teams and also be very often the spokesperson for the decisions at the hospital, a very uh, challenging situation at the time. He was the one who made sure that things continued to happen and we had the right people in the right place to make those decisions. Also, very fortunately, our most recent chief of, chief of staff, Dr. Joey Seaman, was there to help us guide the uh, resources needed and as well the decisions to be made in the ICU. Um, that happens to be a specialty, so that was uh, just pure luck. Dr. Volker, Director of Clinical Research, to be very important in the decisions make, made for clinical trials and advanced therapy that just happened to be uh, at the forefront. These physician leaders did not do this alone. It took leadership, collaboration, and support from teams of physicians they represent, who together managed every challenge and complexity of the pandemic through our way. Uh, for all the other divisions and disciplines, we wanted to recognize the remaining physicians in alphabetical order. Dr. John Abu represented the entire OB department and the work they did caring for our uh, pregnant patients. Again, a very unique subset of patients. Dr. Sean Daly, representing anesthesia and overcoming the challenges the OR staff had to face in relation to inpatient and outpatient surgery. Dr. Karen Hammond represented the COVID team to help us guide our therapy and care decisions based on review of the literature and with work for our residents. Dr. Ryan Harvey represented radiology and the ever-changing information about the radiologic uh, manifestations of this pandemic. Dr. Jonathan Hofberger, Chief of Surgery, a very challenging position this year to make and enforce very difficult decisions about elective surgery and emergent surgery. Again, uh, quite the hot seat this year. Dr. Ruben Holland, representing our emergency care team and the work they did to triage, test, and care for patients truly on the forefront and on the front line of this pandemic. Doctors Alex Houston, Fazil Keen, Jason Karecki, and JC Vigil, all representing respectively the AIM, the First Physician, and the Intercoastal Medical Group, 
hospitalists to continue to care for all of these patients here at the hospital. Dr. Ken Horitz, our ICU director, he represented all of the pulmonologists and ICU doctors who provided care to the ICU and pulmonary patients, including COVID and non-COVID patients. Dr. Brad Kaplan, chief of the medicine, medical section, rep representing all of the medical sections, including cardiology, pulmonology, gastroenterology, endocrinology, and others. Dr. Julia Larkin, also representing infectious disease associates and all they did in-house for our patients fighting both COVID and non-COVID infections. Dr. Cy Rabins, representing the Intercoastal Medical Group, continued to deliver care to the Intercoastal Medical Group patients to the community. Dr. Jack Rodman, representing our outpatient first physician team, who continued to deliver care to the patients in the community and developed the earliest outpatient team strategies for patients and employees, and I might add also physicians. Again, another physician who probably did not get an uninterrupted night of sleep during all this for co uh, questions regarding COVID testing from the physicians. Dr. Matthew Thomas, representing how mental health professionals helped employees through the EAP and community members struggling through these difficult times. Again, we are all continuing to fight the emotional struggle of this pandemic, and they have been strong and steadfast in the background. Dr. Ra Jack Wazen, who was our incoming chief of staff elect, who has been able to help with these decisions and who is preparing to take over in this next year because it is not over with and we will continue to have to work through the ever-changing scenery of COVID. Dr. Wilhelmina Visa Ramesh representing the FSU students and residents and all the work they did both in the aid and care of our patients but also in learning through all of this pandemic as well as reviewing the research and heading up some of our uh, research studies. Dr. Jeff Zachs, representing pathology and laboratory services and the Serapath services, which were crucial and continue to be crucial for our COVID-19 testing strategy or strategies. I could stand here all day naming physicians who stepped up to the plate for our hospital, our patients and our community, but I would still be continuing for hours and hours. Um, again, everyone did their part. Everyone was affected by this pandemic and we wanted to thank everybody. The COVID-19 Team Physician of the Year Award is meant to represent every single doctor providing care throughout this pandemic. As SMH is the safety net hospital in the community, we have a responsibility to be here for everyone who needs us and all that you did. We appreciate it. We thank you. And I know this is not over yet, so um, this is a thank you for the future.